guys, today I'm coming to you with a spoiler free review of Carval by Stephanie Garber. Carval is a YA fantasy novel uh, that follows the story of two sisters who lived under the watch of their extremely controlling and abusive father in their tiny land. In this world also there is this performance called Carva and it's just something like a show slash Carva slash circus and it's a performance that happens uh, once a year and you have to have tickets to invite it to it. Scarlett has always been fascinated by Carva and ever since she was a kid she was always dreamed of it and want to go to Carval and she's been writing letters to the master of legends um, most of the time but she doesn't receive any answers finally when she was 17 she receives her tickets but also her father managed a marriage for her and she has to choose between um, stay in the island for a wedding or just leave the island for joining the carnival competitions. But her sister Tala also a risk taker and she decided to plot a way to Scarlet get off the island and join the carnival performance. However, they get help from the sailor Julian and the three of them sailing off to Carval. By the time that they get there, they find that the Tala has been kidnapped and the winner of this 10 years competitions is the one who finds her first. And how to go into this purpose is how this masterpiece created. What I most like about this book is the challenging of telling the difference between reality and fantasy. Just like the banner of the show says, remember it's only a game. But by the time you keep going through the book, you're recognizing that it's not just a game, it's a life. Also, I fell in love with the deep relationship between two sisters and how Tala is important for Scarlett. But also, I love um, the Julian character because he's very charming, very clever, and very mysterious that it's sometimes so hard to understand him. But he, as the main male character, always there when you need him. So many people come persons between Carlo and the Night Circus. I didn't read Night Circus, but I know about that book was um, a slow-paced atmospheric novel, but Carlo is such a fast-paced and action-packed one. But I was so happy with this one because slow-paced atmospheric books was such a frustrating one. But Carla is very mysterious, beautiful writing and plot twists and that simple coming the right time. Also writing in a third person and I really appreciate it because writing in a third person and definitely helped to create the atmosphere. The author creates a word that you can violently imagine in your mind and when you read it, you're released from the world around you. Like when she was for the first time walking through the Carwell series uh, with um, all that shops and all that mysterious magical weird type of things that I can clearly see in my mind and it was just like I was really in there with, with all those fantastic descriptions about them. But sometimes uh, Scarlett's decisions and all of her thoughts was such a cliche to me. She was overly naive at some points and sometimes some of her decisions makes me crazy. But also because she only had one goal and actually it was the first time she leaves the island and wants to make decisions by her own. Also some Julian's parts and some romance sections was such a huge cliche to me that sometimes I was just like, come on, take a room. But also I feel like it helped her character develop into something strong and passionate, something that she liked in the beginning. The last chapters of the book was very interesting the how Stephanie Garber solved the plot twist because although it's very magical and mysterious but it's also easy to understand because although it's very magical and mysterious but also it's very easy to understand and I really enjoyed how chapter is going to end by a plot twist because all of the plot twists have a purpose in the whole book and I really enjoyed how they all fit so well together. And these things made the Carwell an unputdownable novel. 
So this is my spoiler free review about Caravan. Write me in the comments down below if you already have read this book or if you're excited to read it and what is your opinions about it. And if you'd like to follow me in any of the other social medias, my links are down below. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in my next video.